Alright, what's happening folks? So I try and fix my shirt to look pretty for you guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, like I said, I couldn't watch the fights last night. I had prior engagements that I fucking forgot about. So uh, I went to my brother's party and stuff and had a good time. Um, turned on the TV after I took my wife to work today and watched the fights. First and foremost, let's just break it down as it happened. Chad Dawson and uh, Diak Nu. Um, I am of the same mind as, a, as Emmanuel Stewart. Um, to me, now I only saw Diak Nu, I only saw his Pascal fights, but to me it looked like even as good as those fights were, it looked like Diak Nu was trying to even step it up even more with, uh, with Dawson. That being said, uh, if anybody out there is going to call Chad Dawson and Diakonu a boring fight, I wonder if you're a fight fan or a boxing fan because it was a good fight. Like Groves and DeGale, it was a good fight. Now, with Groves and DeGale, it was more of a war. Uh, there was blood and there was guts and heart in that Groves and DeGale fight. Uh, with Chad Dawson, it was more about figuring out Diakonu and, and, and look, Diakonu clocked fucking Dawson a couple times. Um, and, and Dawson, I mean, he stumbled once, but he really was never really hurt. Um, and, and I don't think Diakonu was ever really hurt. But it was a good boxing match. I guess that's kind of jumbled. Look. <sighs> Here we'll get back in. We'll get back into that because I got some thoughts about Dawson, Hopkins, Pascal. What can I say? I was wrong as hell. I thought Pascal would take it by UD. I've been saying all week though, so give me a little bit of credit. I've been saying all week that this fight pivots on one thing for me, and I thought he could do it. I put faith in him, and he didn't do it. Is whether or not in the second half of the fight will Pascal still be willing? to put the energy forth and throw fucking punches. I mean, he he didn't. You, you can point to him and say, yeah, but look, he was throwing punches. Yeah, but that was wild, crazy shit. I mean, that was, he wasn't putting any thought behind any of that shit. I mean, he didn't box. Pascal didn't box. I'm sorry. To any Pascal fans out there, man, I, I like Pascal too. I thought his fucking fight with Frotch was one hell of a fucking fight. And, and, and I think um, his fight with Dawson was a fight, and Diakonu as well. But at the same time, he did not box Hopkins. And I know, you know, you don't want to box Hopkins, blah, blah, blah. But you have to a little bit. Look at Jermaine Taylor. I've been saying this. Jermaine Taylor laid the blueprint. Oh, laid the blueprint for how to beat Hopkins. You don't have to be the most skilled boxer, but you can't let Hopkins completely shut you down. Hopkins fucking just flip this file over Pascal. I mean, Hopkins just proved that, you know, proved to people like me once again, even though I'm a naysayer of Hopkins, and I think he's going to lose all these upcoming fights because he's so fucking old. But he doesn't. He's just, he's just, he's a, he's a real living legend. And uh, I got, I got nothing but props for that guy. Um, it, but saying that, watching Hopkins fight, I think he was showing he was he was not in the same class as Pascal. I don't think Hopkins uh, is going to beat Dawson. I think if Dawson knocked that ring rust off and looks just a little sharper, or even looks the same as he did against Diakonu, um, I don't think Dawson's going to knock Hopkins out. But I think Do I think Dawson is the one that can outbox Hopkins. I mean, outbox literally from the outside. Jab, jab, straights, that kind of shit. I think he's the one who can outbox Hopkins. But Hopkins in that lateral movement and the holding and all the other shit that he does, you never know. So uh, while I got much respect for Hopkins, man, I've never really been his fan. I don't really like his mouth or his attitude. That's a continuing trend. <laughs> but uh, I got to respect him. And if you don't respect Hopkins, then you don't respect the sport because the dude just exemplifies um, a boxer, just he's the, a boxer in, in one of its purest forms. Now, yes, Mayweather's the technical blah, blah, blah. I know that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying combining skill and craft with experience, slickness, defense, 
and tactics. I mean, Hopkins is the complete package minus the knockouts. So, you know, going into any fight with Hopkins, it's apparent to me that one of these days he's going to get old, but until then, I just have to assume he's not going to get old that night until it happens, and then I'll be wrong if I predict him to win. But, hey, I got nothing but respect for him, but I don't think he can beat Dawson. I think he can beat Cleverly, but I don't think he can beat Dawson. My opinion, but I haven't seen enough of Cleverly, so don't take, don't fucking run with that too fucking far because I haven't seen much of him. So maybe that's a bit unfair. But I don't think Hopkins can beat Dawson. I don't think Pascal can beat Dawson in a rematch. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I would prefer it if Dawson got his revenge on Pascal, even though Pascal lost. It's just my opinion, man. Uh, I'll be back with probably a more concise video later. I gotta go do some family shit, so y'all be cool. Peace. Oh, I mean deuces.